as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming, with Sister Tanya Nugis. Maranatha, page 194, Persecution by Protestants and Catholics, July 5th. Ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Matthew 10, 22. There is no necessity for thinking that we cannot endure persecution. We shall have to go through terrible times. The persecutions of Protestants by Romanism, by which the religion of Jesus Christ was almost annihilated, will be more than rivaled when Protestantism and Popery are combined. The commandment-keeping people of God ere long will be placed in a most trying position, but all those who have walked in the light and diffused the light will realize that God interposes in their behalf. When everything looks most forbidding, then the Lord will reveal His power to His faithful ones. When the nation for which God has worked in such a marvelous manner, and over which He has spread the shield of omnipotence, abandons Protestant principles, and through its legislature gives countenance and support to Romanism in limiting religious liberty, then God will work in His own power for His people that are true. The tyranny of Rome will be exercised, but Christ is our refuge. When the leading churches of the United States, uniting upon such points of doctrine as are held by them in common, shall influence the state to enforce their decrees and to sustain their institutions, then Protestant America will have formed an image of the Roman hierarchy and the infliction of civil penalties upon dissenters will inevitably result. The scriptures teach that popery is to regain its law supremacy and that the fires of persecution will be rekindled through the time-serving concessions of the so-called Protestant world. In this time of peril we can stand only as we have the truth and the power of God. The prospect of being brought into personal danger and distress need not cause despondency, but should quicken the vigor and hopes of God's people. For the time of their peril is the season for God to grant them clear manifestations of His power. This has been your daily devotional with Sister Tanya Nuges. Maranatha, Jesus is coming again. Get ready, get ready, get ready.